Hello, my beautiful Aquarius friends. Welcome to the channel, Irish Donna Tarot. We are having a contest for a free reading. If you're interested, check out the description box below. Let's get started with your reading. So, your energy at this time, Aquarius, is one of deep disappointment. You're watching something happening. It looks almost like you're, you're like looking into the past and you're really wondering what it is that you saw. Why is it that by looking into the past, there's such a bitter sort of sadness here in this connection with this person? You also have this very strong Scorpio love for this person. Right now, you're not talking about it. You feel overwhelmed, I would say. But we do have a lot of stability. So even though your love runs very deep, you're not talking about it. And when we get this energy, you really felt that this person was going to be your future. And you wanted stability and you still want stability with this person. This also tells me, Aquarius, that you have in your reading right now today, I see one, two, three different love potentials, but primarily the love potentials that you have right now are not your person, okay? We'll get into the details of why. But we have you very grounded, very Taurus energy, very practical energy. You don't want to really dislike this person. I feel as though with this tower card, this tower energy in the moon, I see a lot of energy here that this person has been very unreliable for you, to put it mildly. When I look at the page of swords, you're really trying to figure something out. You're trying to get clarity. You're trying to find answers. You know, when we look at this page, it's like you're willing to go to the end of the earth. You're willing to walk barefoot on a sword across two mountains over a waterfall and not even use your hands for balance. You're seeking enlightenment. You're studying this and you're just working overtime to get clarity on what has happened between you and this person. I get that you were very invested and you felt as though this person may someday be your partner. Um, this is Virgo energy. It's a legacy marriage. I feel as though you've known this person for a very long time. We get the Ten of Coins. We get two people who've known each other for a long time. There's a lot of loyalty. There's a tremendous amount of love. There's give and take. I feel as though you were at the Seven of Coins that your relationship did not progress to the Ten. But it is what you wanted in the relationship. When we look at your person, we're seeing a very different but discordant energy. Their energy is very much about what they want. This is the Aries King. This Aries King has a big chess piece in his hand. He wants to get rid of something in his life, to cut out something in his life that doesn't serve him. And what we see in the energy is that he feels as though he's been a lightweight in love, that he has not achieved anything significant with you. It looks as though he does feel that he's underwater, that he's not able to give you what you want. He feels also too Aquarius that if he doesn't take himself out of the equation in this relationship, as evidenced by this energy, that you would have taken him out of your life at a later date. So the story that I'm seeing here is that the two of you have considered marriage. You've really thought about it. You love each other deeply or you have at one time. It looks as though the relationship didn't really progress from the seven of coins to the ten of coins. Both of you are at an impasse, but your person is really not a match for you. The Emperor card can be very manipulative, uh, somebody who isn't really kind of a team player. They're in it for themselves. I, no shade on Aries or anything, but the Emperor card can be well-aspected, but right here it is not. 
when we get the page of cups we get somebody who feels underwater in this relationship with you they feel as though they really can't give you what you want the hanged man they're incapable you know they're a page look at this those energies are just they're not grounded like literally not grounded and this person suffers from some sort of depression or some sort of difficulty that they have with their emotions. We get the two of wands. They feel as though it's a time to make a decision about the relationship. They feel as though they love you very much. They feel as though you're a best friend. But the Ten of Swords says that there's been something that's happened in the relationship that has created a betrayal situation and that they have no option other than to to walk away at this time the mutual energy between the two of you is that you're both working behind the scenes there's aries energy this is aries the tower is aries it has scorpio overlay to it and so something has come crashing down here the Magician card says that neither of you saw it and yet both of you saw it like you could have anticipated that it would happen. Your mutual energy is a lot of ego-driven battles, a lot of fighting, even if it was beneath the surface, even if it wasn't spoken. Both of you right now, if you keep fighting, it's, it's almost like setting a house on fire. We're getting the energy that both of you want to win. Both of you want to manifest a huge change. This is all about the stability of the relationship. It is, is gone. This is, this is like the 9-11 card of emotions. The Magician card says that both of you would like to have stability, but mostly there's this huge battle going on that says that both of you are determined to win. And it's ego driven and so when there is a winner there must be a loser right we see that happily both of you are going to invoke a consultant or a third party to come in and deal with some aspect of this relationship you're both seeking advice from other people Aries I mean excuse me Aquarius here you are in your reading look at this the mutual energy is that both of you are depressed. Both of you, now your person has, is this is a normal state for them, okay? It's not for you. You're very well grounded. Where this person has a moon card, you have the king of pentacles. Where this person has the hanged man, you have the king of cups. Where this person is walks away, you know, you're, you're wondering how to make it right. So the mutual energy right now is that both of you are very much feeling underwater, dragged down by the situation. Both of you would like to have clarity. Both of you would like to have a peaceful ending to this. It also looks as though someone may move, actually pack up their things and move. And whoever moves here looks as though they're going to find happiness. Both of you are seeking happiness, but now you have your back turned to this relationship possibility. This person has their back turned to you. This person is walking away from you. At, or, and this also can be vice versa. I see this as a very vice versa reading. And that at the end of the day, both of you will give up your burdens and move forward into your future. But I do not believe that it's necessarily with each other. I feel as though someone made a very rash decision here because of this, this page of cups. And now we see it in your outcome again. We see two pages. We see knights. These are not great indicators of a really mature, healthy situation. Now, Aquarius, here you are. Here you are in the reading. Look at you. You look beautiful. You look radiant. You're the bright spot. This person actually suffers a lot, and you know it. 
you've always been like the helper. You've always been the person who they could hold on to. The person who, no matter what, spiritually would step forward for them. And when we get this outcome is that you're going to be who you are. You're not going to change Aquarius at all. There's no way you will. You have this Cancerian energy. This, th You have this amazing ability to heal anyone. And what I see is that in the past you rescued this person. You would fly in, you know, in this chariot. You would use this Aries energy and you would help them. And I feel as though you were really a good friend to them, but this energy is really your energy. What we get here is that you see the truth for what it is. You want to close out this cycle in a very healthy way. Temperance, I feel as though you're the adult in the room, so to speak. So the outcome will be determined, I feel, more over by you. But when we get this energy, your person does not want to see the truth. Here you are, the truth speaker, the spiritual enlightened one, taking action, trying to make it happen the right way, and you have great clarity on what needs to happen. You have great clarity about the situation, and when you try to tell this person they do not want to hear it, they don't want to listen. The Two of Swords, it's like la 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 la, don't tell me anything Aquarius. I'm so busy up here burning the house down Aquarius that you know we might, we might not be able to have a victory that's mutual. I'm too far underwater here Aquarius for you to pull me up and into the sky. I feel as though Aquarius I'm leaving to go somewhere else and you're going to have to leave too because you know, this person is packing their bags, but they're taking their burdens with them. This looks like a very heavy burden, and the Ten of Wands, the point of it is to let your burdens go. And this person somehow thinks that their happily ever after is somewhere off in the future. Your outcome card, though, says that there may be some sort of discordant legal agreement. The Knight of Swords is very brash, aggressive energy. It's... it's um, the energy of Gemini. This person wants to say something to you. The Justice card tells me that you may be involved in some sort of legal issue. This person is, look, look at this, we have the Queen of Swords energy. This person is a lightweight, but instead of trying to work on themselves, I see them just going on their merry way and it's like, oh, I'm a lightweight. I'm the, I'm the page of wands, but I'm just gonna take you out of my life. This person's acting like this Libra queen because they don't wanna deal with the truth. Now that's the opposite of what a Libra queen should be doing. That's opposite the normal order of things. But this person feels because they're a lightweight, and look at we have it again. They're a lightweight here, they're a lightweight here, it means that their decisions, the things that they throw caution to the wind for, the things that they cut out of their life, uh, the way this is going to, do, going to manifest for them is in this energy of, you know, being hung out to dry. The moon card. There's not a good answer for your person. There really isn't. And in the process of their own misery, their inability to like handle themselves, they have involved you in a situation which again, you always thought they were the king of pentacles. This is a husband daddy card. So you felt at one point that they could be stable, but look at again, we have this decision making. This person is an adult person. They're probably middle-aged or older. But we have this person, again, being a total lightweight. When pigs fly, there's a tiny little pig here with wings. When pigs fly, this person will make a rational decision. When pigs fly, this person is grounded. They look good to the outside world, but they're not really grounded. I see you having a beautiful future for yourself. And I feel as though it's going to come in very swiftly. I feel as though you are going to call it in. 
and I feel as though April will be a really big turning point for you. But let's get a few more clarifiers on here because I almost feel like this outcome is two separate outcomes. Their outcome is this, you know, it's usually a mutual outcome, but for this person, you know, it just looks as though when pigs fly, they can be adult. When they cut things out of their life so they can be foolish and young, it doesn't really go well for them because they get themselves in trouble legally. So they're rushing towards something that they think is going to fulfill them. So they think they're rushing towards, you know, some sort of legal agreement or something that's going to be fulfilling. And yet, you know, it doesn't go well because we have this this tower card and the mutual energy, you know. This person was also, both of you are very, very good at manifesting. But the difference is, Aquarius, you manifest love, light. You manifest being grounded. You manifest a good career, stability. And this person manifests drama. And I feel as though you've known this in your life, but you've, of course, you've loved them anyway. I don't feel as though you've actively been in a relationship recently. I feel that for many of you, this is someone from your far past that's come in and has thrown uh, a monkey wrench into a friendship because I do think that they walked away and you know now you're friends and yet they've caused a tower moment. You know, so somehow this is impacting you, maybe in legal ways, maybe in your housing. But what I see for you is this absolutely, the universe is protecting you. The star card is healing. The star card is you. You're the rock star here. You're going to embody this, imp, you know, this emperor energy. The emperor always drives a chariot. And you're going to use this beautiful Queen of Wands energy to manifest something magical. So even when we look here, you know, when we look at these cards, your person creates drama and you're the one, you're kind of like, you're the one who fixes things. This is Magus. This is a magician. But Magus was also a physician. Physician, heal thyself. And so when we have this energy, it's two very discordant energies. One person creates chaos. The other person creates magic. One person creates ego, you know, ego battles. The other person creates a win. One person creates a situation in which other people have to be involved. The other person is happy-go-lucky. You know, the mutual energy here is almost not even mutual. There's like two separate energies in this reading. They're underwater with their emotions, and you're a healer, you know? You're, you're brilliant. You're the brightest star, you know, in the sky. Where they are all burden. You are all sweetness, happiness, joyfulness, all about moving forward and being loved and loving well. And so it's, um, it's, a, it's an odd reading, but I feel as though your person has created a situation in which you have to deal with something. For many of you, you would have been married to this person. For many of you, you may have known this person you know, since you were very young or for many years. This looks as though you are going to go in a totally different direction, but you're moving forward. Your person is in a very stagnant situation, and their part of this outcome is to continue to be a flake, throw caution to the winds, to make really harsh judgments about people, almost like, it's never my fault, it's never my fault, it's always somebody else's fault. And it's not accurate. This person's rash in their judgments. They rush to judge. So let's see what the energy from the Moonology deck has for you. So I feel that for many of you, this is a conclusion of a long cycle with somebody you've known. Aha, conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. Some of you may be deciding to finally give up on a marriage or a long-term love relationship or wish that you've had. What do you need to release? Here we go. There's the release. So conclusions are within reach. Release is in with, within reach. Healing is yours. 
the minute you release this fully, this is going to be magical for you because this then becomes a magical moment for you where the tower starts this process for you. The start, the tower is like the initiator. It may feel as though somebody lobbed a, you know, a bomb or a firecracker or a cherry bomb into your life. And the outcome, the outcome is exquisite for you. Not them, but yours is exquisite. You're the magician. You're the star. You're the high, you are the beautiful queen of wands, the fiery businesswoman, the fiery orator, the fiery manager with the emperor energy. Let's see what spirit has in terms of like what you should do kinds of advice for you, Aquarius. Don't be afraid to let this go. Whatever it is, it does look like it's a marriage for many of you or the hopes for a long-term relationship with someone. But the energy is really saying it's okay to let go. Your life will be very bright even though it doesn't feel like it right now. Even though it feels like you feel bored. You know, it feels like nothing's happening that you like, but it's around the corner. Trust and thrive. Good for you, Aquarius. Beautiful energy, Aquarius. Beautiful. This is, it's just time to let go of something dream and journey look at this dream and journey card now when this person makes this lightweight decision it leaves room for you to actually dream and journey you know we see you being the person who you know jumps in the volkswagen van van you're the one who tr spins the globe you're the one who gets a surfboarding and marches into your future with great happiness and joy i love it it's a beautiful reading for you it's just releasing something that's not new to you that you know needs to be released and look at this you you really are ready to go out in life you're ready to cut loose from all of this tower energy you're ready you're brave make plans and focus look at that sending you light and love from chicago send some back namaste it was a joy take care bye-bye